Britazilla demands friends give $1,500 to cover failed wedding. When she received the wedding invitation, she had to reread it. This was an entirely different level of entitlement and arrogance than she had experienced in her cousin's past. Initially, she was stunned by the bride's outrageous audacity, but then burst out in laughter. Even though she knew it wasn't a good idea to share the story on the internet, she couldn't resist. Naturally, none of it worked out. Planning a wedding is an exciting time for a woman. However, it is also a very tiring and demanding period in her life. The phrase Britazilla was taken to new heights by one bride. A woman named Canadian Susan made headlines with her insane demands when her lengthy and vehement post-wedding outburst went viral. Her story appears to start out innocently enough. Susan identifies herself as a middle-class woman whose fantasy love story began when she was a child. While working on her parents' farm, she met the love of her life, and the two young people instantly fell for each other. Susan mentioned that her engagement ring was worth almost 5k. The pair got engaged before college and had a child all before the age of 20. However, her partner had no clue who he was marrying. The pair raised a child and settled the debts their act up in college. On top of all this, they managed to save more than $15,000 for their wedding. Susan had dreamed of her wedding and wanted things to be perfect. She'd narrowed down two viable locations for her destination wedding, so she naturally sought the advice of a psychic to assist her make a selection. So, buckle up. Susan's post takes a turn for the bizarre at this point. Susan shared with the internet that the psychic picked the priciest venue in Aruba. Just by choosing this venue increased the wedding costs to over $60,000. Surprisingly, the psychic had no idea what was going to happen next. Susan did not have enough money for the wedding of her dreams, but she refused to let anything get in the way of her dreams. She felt like she deserved more than that. Every single detail of her wedding was carefully planned out. Susan used the Kardashian weddings as a blueprint of what she wanted her own wedding to be like. Susan did not care for the cost of the wedding. She felt because she was the bride, she deserved whatever it was she wanted. No one could possibly disagree with her. So, what was the answer to her money problems? Susan included a request for financial presence from the guests on the invitations, which isn't an unreasonable request for a wedding. But, what Susan wanted was not a reasonable request. Susan demanded $1,500 from each guest so that they can attend. Many people started to tell Susan that they would no longer be in a position to attend her wedding. In the end, only eight guests RSVPs. Susan was furious. Susan's partner attempted to rectify the situation by suggesting something easier. Little did he know that it was a huge mistake. Was it really necessary for them to be married in Aruba? Isn't it possible that they might arrange a less expensive wedding in Vegas so that everyone could join? He felt like the only thing that mattered that day was their commitment and love towards one another, but she felt differently. His attempts to calm her down was a fatal mistake, and she got even angrier. Susan felt it would be reasonable to share her frustrations with the internet, like any Britazilla would do. She wrote about how ridiculous her guests were for not paying to attend the most lavish wedding in history. She insulted her friends publicly and called out her maid of honor for not paying for her dream wedding. However, her arrogance did not stop there. Susan attempted to raise money for her wedding by setting up a Goffin account, but it flopped terribly. She cancelled the wedding and broke off her engagement with her fiancé in an astounding display, all because he had the audacity to offer a cheaper ceremony in Vegas, as if she were some piece of garbage. There's more, though. In her mini-novel of a post, Susan wrote, For once, let me take the stage and let me voice the most painful few months of my life. Of course, Susan blames her guests for destroying her marriage, her wedding, and her life. Then, she vows to delete her Facebook account and leave her friends and family behind. The story was so horrendous it was perfect. But was it real? The story went insanely viral. Canadian Susan made headlines around the world. Readers couldn't get enough of the drama, the schadenfreude, and the unbelievable ending. But, was any of it true? Although Susan deleted her posts and her Facebook account, the post was shared on a Facebook group called Wedding Shaming and quickly spread. Now, it lives on multiple websites in all its terrible glory. But was it true? Although terrible Britazilla stories are like modern tales of folklore, this one is 100% real. The notorious ex-bride story was verified by Tina, her cousin and ex-wedding guest. Tina came forward and confirmed that Susan is a living, breathing, human being. Tina also confirmed that the Britazilla came from humble beginnings, working on a rural farm in Canada, and shared some other valuable insights. Tina believes that Susan's humble beginnings and obsession with the Kardashians fueled her craving for luxury and making others pay for it. When I try to analyze her entitled behavior, I believe deep down she's very insecure about her status and how she stacks up to others, she added. But, apparently, this wasn't the first time Susan turned into an entitled monster. 
Tina revealed that Susan threw a tantrum at her own baby shower when her friends and family members wouldn't cave in to her unreal demands. She had asked everyone to pull money into a $2,000 royal baby carriage. As for Susan, she vowed to go backpacking in South America after her wedding ordeal to get away from it all.